Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to do a really fast video coloring my favorite ice creams because ice cream might melt. So we need to go quickly because we're all busy as well. These are ice creams from the Summer Swirls stamp set from Altenew. And they have a bunch of different ice creams that I remember getting at least some of these from the ice cream man. And I actually lived down the street from an ice cream man. The little tingling that you may hear in the background is my chimes. It's not my ice cream man because he plays a really obnoxious song as all ice cream trucks do as they run around trying to get children to come out and give money over for cold frosty <laughs> treats. But I decided to color the three big ice creams. There's also an, a small ice cream in the set and of course the truck. And I decided to cover, color the three big ones at the bottom of my card and then have the truck as part of the sentiment, kind of as a, a little swipe across the top of the card. I'm coloring this chocolate covered one by coloring completely over top of the nuts. And you can decide whether or not your nuts stick out or whether they are just lumps in the chocolate because sometimes they, they do the nuts inside the chocolate and then sometimes the nuts are sprinkled on the outside of the chocolate and it's up to you which one you decide you want to do when you color these but yum yum either way they both taste the same and I think I actually like the kind that's inside the chocolate because the chocolate will hold the nuts in and then they don't fall out and hit the ground on the sidewalk and you don't end up leaving a trail for the summer ants to come and get yeah <laughs> Can you tell that I grew up eating ice cream outside? Yes, used to love that. I even used to, don't tell my mom this, she might, she sometimes watches my videos, mom, close your ears, but I used to take a little bit of money in my pocket so that if I went over to my friend Corey and Denise's house and the ice cream man came by that we could go out and get ice cream because my mom didn't like me going out and getting ice cream that much. So she would rather get us ice cream from the freezer and then that was only on a special treat basis. So I would always hope that when I went over to see my friends that I would find the ice cream man running around the neighborhood and sneak a little treat. So the ice cream cones are all colored and this one I was debating whether or not that top is actually some sort of, I'm not really sure why you would do a swirl like that of, of uh, what is that, whipped cream? on top with some icing there. I'm not really positive what that is, that, though you could color it as one of those cupcakes with frosting on the top and then the cake baked on the inside, which are really delicious, by the way. If you haven't done that, bake some cake into your ice cream cone thingy in the oven and then put the frosting on top and you get to eat a piece of cake like, like it's an ice cream cone, which is really amazing. But I decided to do this as all a swirl of ice cream. And this one is, of course, mint chocolate chip using three different greens to create that and then adding some extra chips because, you know, what is wrong with having extra chocolate in anything, right? Can you tell I'm a chocolate Because this third one is also going to be chocolate. And I'm going to tell myself that the reason is because having the browns behind that green makes the green really pop but I really just love anything chocolate. The more chocolate, the better. If it has like chunks of fudge brownie in it, it's even more delicious. And I'm getting hungry just doing the voiceover for this video. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Anyway, I'm gonna color the cherry on top, of course. And mine never came with cherries when I was getting them from the ice cream man, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not even sure that we actually got a swirl unless it was the kind that was in the package that was already swirled and maybe covered with something. Um, but you know, we're gonna pretend this was all gotten from this wonderful ice cream truck that's driving on by. And I wanted to keep the color simple because it's gonna be a white truck, although those trucks usually have stickers all over them. And I thought it would be fun to draw all of the little price stickers and the menu stickers on the outside of the truck because that was always a, just a fun joy, looking at all the different kinds of popsicles and ice creams that the ice cream man had. But I colored the little block underneath of that awning so it would look like the awning's hanging out, so give it a good shadow down the side of the ice cream truck. And then just a little bit of gray here and there on a few of these pieces of the truck. And then I wanted to create a shadow so it looked like that awning hung down. So I just went with a little bit of gray across all of it. 
And now I'm going to add just a little bit. You could do a, a solid road all the way across, all different kinds of things, but I'm just going to do a hint at a road just with some light grays to really flick across the paper so that it fades out toward the right and you get just a little bit of the ground underneath them and very softly because the important part on this is the ice cream. <laughs> Nobody cares about the road or the truck or anything else. Just the ice cream is the important part. So underneath of a vehicle like this, if you actually look out the window at vehicles, you will see they have a specific shadow right underneath of them that's very, very dark. And even if the road is one darkness, you're gonna get extra, extra dark right underneath of that truck. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more underneath there. And then I decided I needed a little more dark in the windows as well and blended them out. And this was really fun. This was a really simple card to make because all I had to do was focus on chocolate. And that's always a good way to spend a little while of my day, isn't it? I popped it onto a piece of red cardstock and left a strip showing on the right to just let a little bit of color come through. But I used some dimensional adhesive and a little glossy accents on the cherry and on the nuts, that sort of thing on my card. And that's about it. So it is time to go out and find yourself an ice cream truck or go to the freezer and get yourself a treat. You have my permission. Tell everybody if they complain about it, you have Sandy's permission to go get ice cream. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.